Good afternoon, everyone. So, this is Ras. And today, I am going to demonstrate how to paint this sketch of mine. I have this reference photo. So, last night, I, I, I drew this uh, reference photo using a Strathmore 300 GS GSM paper. Okay? So, it's not really cotton, but I... I I have so far been successful in in painting on it. This is one example of my painting yesterday. This is a koi fish, or rather kutu koi fish. And um, today, I want to paint this one. So I hope you like it, and I hope you will enjoy this uh, painting session. Um, but first, let's go over the tools that I'm going to use in the paints. Okay? So, I'll try to use this two brushes, okay, by Silver Black Velvet. This one is a striper, 1 fourth inch, and the other one is a round brush, size 6, also by Silver Black Velvet, alright. And then, I will be using my palette for portrait painting. So, I will use red, French Ultramarine, um, yellow, permanent yellow, as well as... Um, this M gram cerulean blue and Daniel Smith um, amethyst genuine. Okay, so as you can see, my my palette is really dirty, but it's okay. I still have this clean palette over here where I can mix things. This is a Shin Han mixing palette. It's really huge. I bought it from Singapore just uh, last year. Okay, so. And of course, I also have this paper, or rather water, two tumblers of water, glasses of water. Um, and I also want to lighten this sketch because um, the pencil mark, the pencil sketching is still very visible. So I want to lighten my sketch by rolling my um, eraser over it. I'm using, I'm using this needle ball eraser. It's actually fun to use. So it's like playing with Play Doh. Okay, so I'll just roll it over my sketch to lessen or to lighten. Okay, and then I will also refer to my reference sketch for the um, light tones, mid tones, and dark tones. Okay. Okay, let's start. So first, I want to do the background. For the background, I have decided to use M gram. This I have decided to use M. Thank you. 
It's one of my first uh, figures that I sketch. I'm really not a figure sketcher, but I am learning to be one. So, so this is my first time also to, to do a uh, painting session on YouTube. And, um, oh, this is not live, by the way. I'm recording this. Okay. So I'm very new to watercolor painting, as you can see. <laughs> For those uh, experts out there, I'm not really. I've, I have been painting for since September last year. So, okay, and then I'll just sprinkle on some water in the background, just for effect. You can also, uh, if if you want a darker background, you can do that. But for now, I want I want it light. And I'll just wait for these to dry first because um, I'm gonna be painting the blanket red. So if I if I paint this one now while the background is wet, there might be some bleeding to the surrounding background. But um, occasionally bleeding bleeding colors are okay. But in this case, because I don't want I don't want the the background to met to blend with my main subject. Okay. I'll be back when this when this background is dry. Hey everyone, I'm back. I realized that I want to put in some amethyst genuine into my background. So while the paint is still wet, I will try to add amethyst genuine. Just a few drops. Okay. And then just let the color blend. Just for effect actually. It's my favorite um, color by Daniel Smith, Amethyst Genuine. I'm a geologist by profession, so I love anything that has some connection to earth science. In this case, it's amethyst. Okay, it's um, quartz mineral that's purplish. Okay. I'm not, gonna, I'm not even sure how this is going to turn out, but just, you know, experimenting on my background. Although it's the least important part of the uh, figure, I would say, but some may not agree with me. I would rather really put more details in the subject itself rather than the background. But for some people, they really do take care or they really, they really do spend some time with background and that's okay. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> As you can see, I'm just trying to mix Amethyst Genuine with Cerulean Blue. Okay. I love Daniel Smith paints. Just so vibrant and I really like how we just need a little in order for the colors. To show. Oh, by the way, I'm using my round brush for this. I should have used and uh, I should have used my striper for this. I'm sorry about that. But uh, yeah. again for this to dry okay before I um, okay so for the skin color I will be using um, yellow permanent yellow and red and a teeny bit of French ultramarine so you can see it's almost <laughs> empty okay I'll be back I want to paint this um this blanket that the belly dancer is using before i re and then when it's dry i'm going to color this background around the body of my figure okay so for for the blanket i'm gonna be using red 
Okay, just red. Okay, I'm just mixing the color. Okay. I think I'm going to add a little bit of French ultramarine to my red just to make it uh, darker. Okay. Okay, and you know to. Okay, so um, this is my reference photo. So as you can see, there are um, shadows and mid tones and highlights in the blanket. So I'm going to try and follow those mid tones, those those different tones. Okay, so let's start with. Um, let's start with. This dark tones right here. Okay. okay. And then I'll just come in with. So light color first. Okay, just mark my dark tones and then just added some water. So this one right here is light. And then here is light. So it's here. Should shift the round brush. My striper is uh, a little too soft for my <laughs> for my liking, so just gonna add. Okay, so let's see. Let's add some shadows. We will add some French ultramarine into the mix to make it darker. Okay. It's almost empty. So I'll just add it to my color. And then just it's for the shadows. Okay. So, hmm, actually, should have done this on cotton, but the thing with Strathmore, it's not cotton, so I'm not getting my, I'm not getting the effect that I want, but that's okay, because this is just a practice piece anyway. I'm gonna do this on cotton as well. There you go. So I'm just following the lines that I have identified for my, um, for my, shadows for the blankets shadows okay and then I'm, I'm coming in with this color okay Keep it cool that So let's. So this is the hair part, by the way. So it's okay if um, it's included in the color of the blanket. I'm gonna paint over it anyway, so don't worry about that. Okay, so here we go. And then I'll just, I'll just um, I'll just add some water to my brush and try to mix in the color some more, so it doesn't have too much or too many sharp edges so I'm trying to soften everything 
And then I'm lifting this part because this part is supposed to be highlight. Okay. Okay, highlight. And then this one right here, I'm lifting off. So these are highlights. As you can see, the paper is not it's not really that great. I'm so sorry. So if this is cotton, I would really be able to lift it up better. I can lift up the color better. So since this is not a cotton, I am not getting that effect. But it's fine. So just continue. Okay. I'll try my best to replicate this on cotton when I have when I get uh, the time to do it okay so let's just okay all right it's okay and then I'll just add some background here background color using cerulean blue but consistency okay it's just um, so there's a bit of red there that's why it's a little grayish but it's okay with me <clears throat> I really don't mind at all okay, well, there's some bleeding here that's fine okay so I'm trying not to add some color into the face that one's going to be <laughs> tricky to remove. Okay, there you go. Put some here. Okay. There you go. So I have already added the color of the blanket and the background. So when when this is dry, I'll just um I'm just adding some some more shadows. Okay. Bell dancing is such a nice uh, workout. Fitness workout for women. I I did it for a year or more actually when I was working in Mindanao as a geologist. Ah, it was really fun. I've gotten a lot of friends. I've met a lot of people who likes fitness, who likes dancing. So when I learned about figure sketching, I told myself, I'm going to paint figures that are dancing. And I think belly dancers are going to be my favorite subject. Okay. So I don't want to touch this anymore because as you can see the paper is already starting to disintegrate disintegrate rather sorry for that um so mm, so this is a good reminder for me not to do too much layering with Stratmore paper so usually I use cotton paper by Bang Hong because uh, that's all I have at the moment um, so We'll just let it dry first before I add the, the, the colors of the figure itself. So you can see um, the background here. I have not yet added because uh, I need to put some effect on the, 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 the skirt pants of the belly dancer. Okay? So hi, I'm back. So I made a mixture of red. French ultramarine blue and um, permanent yellow to, to to mix for my skin skin tone so this is for the skin tone this is for the hair okay so for the hair I just added more French ultramarine and then for for for, uh, for the skin tone I just used a little bit of French ultramarine and then more red and yellow okay so let's start with skin okay so we need to add the light skin tone first okay let me try that okay it's perfect okay so let's add skin tone first okay skin and 
So I made sure that this part is dry so that I can put my hand on it for when I'm painting. As you can see, I'm just adding the light tone first. Okay, so, oops, sorry. It's supposed to be a bra. Okay, it's alright. Okay, then ears, face. So that's for the skin, okay? Now, I'll be adding the mid-tones. So just a darker version of the color that I have just used for the skin tone. So just put some more here. Okay, it's too much. Okay, for the face, the skin tone. too much okay and then some here the shadow of the hair and then just adding some shadows here just to give emphasis on the Up my hand right there, but it's fine. Okay. Just softening this part right here. Okay, softening this areas as well. Okay. So. Maybe I haven't really discovered <laughs> the, the right way to use a strat more, but I am not liking it. I mean, I was okay when I painted Koi, but this one is not really working for me. Okay, so I just, just... Maybe the brush is too wet. Maybe that's it. What can you say? For all the experts out there, your comments are welcome. Okay, so this part right here is highlight, okay, but there's a bit of shadow in the mid part. 
Okay, so let's just trace that here and then add here. Just soften that a bit. Yeah. There we go. And then some shadow here as well. I rather need tones and shadows. Okay. Feet. Just soften those a bit because I don't want really sharp. Start more is really not good for lifting. Anyway, I'll just add the color of the okay, this one right here is blue. I'm using Prussian blue for her skirt. Okay, so I'll just trace the skirt first. Okay. Right here. So it's a bit Lacy, so and then it's connected here, spring as well. Okay, and that. Okay. Oops. Let me fix that later. Wait a second. Okay. Soften this part. Then watercolor sometimes you get accidents <laughs> and that's fine. Sometimes it just happen. Oh and then Okay, I like that. Yeah, right. Uh, so as you can see I cannot really add more layers to this because Stratmore doesn't allow for that. Like cotton that you can do multiple layers and you can easily lift out colors. Okay, so just add some random brush strokes here, just to know, so add some texture, okay. And then, just soften it here, because this is a little blue, of course. Just pushing, pushing the color around with clean water. There you go. So, next is hair. Uh -huh. Sorry, it's a lot of water. Okay, so next is here. Maybe I should uh, give emphasis to this part, this is leg. And then more shadow values here. Okay, so I'm just using um, a mixture of a blue, a little bit of blue on the skin tone. I use, okay, for the shadow. Okay, so shadow here. Belly button. Okay, and then the bust. And then some color, more colors here for the shadow. Okay. And then here, armpits. 
So I'm just adding shadows because I noticed that the shadows are not enough. Okay, so here more and then I'll just add more shadows here on this section because it's the shadow cast by the blanket itself. Okay. My brush is not that wet because I'm scared that I'm already <laughs> the what my 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 paper is already disintegrating on me. Sad. I'll use I'll use cotton next time. Okay. There you go. And then let's add some shadows in the ears. And then the same shadow color. I will use to define the eyebrows and, and the eyes. There you go. And then I'll just use the same color for the eyeshadow. Oops, let's try that. <laughs> okay, let's do that again. Okay, we'll just add the eyeshadow later. For this, actually, you need a really fine brush, but okay. Let's do that again. Okay, this is the eyeshadow, and then I'll use a combination of blue, red, and yellow for the black. Okay. So we need more blue for this. Some shadow on the under lip, okay? Underside of the lip, okay? And then, okay, let's go. So, we'll just add the hair. So for the hair, I'm just using the same colors red, blue, and yellow, but I'm gonna make a, something like brown, okay? So, just add more yellow to this. Some blue, right, and then a bit of red. So this is how I'm mixing it. So a little bit of, can you see that? So I'm mixing brown by blue, blue, and then some Prussian blue because my French ultramarine is almost empty, and then a little bit of yellow. Okay, that's how I did it. This is, the, this is for the hair, okay? So, for the hair, I will just um, do first dark tones. Okay, too much color on there. Just move the color around a bit. And then it just so she's she jump the hair the hair strands are in this array, okay? There's a hair here. Okay. And then I just need to add darker tones into this to add some volume in the hair. Okay. So for that, I'm adding more blue and red. Okay. 
yet. Just extend some of the hair up. the bra let's let's color the bra okay it should be the same color as well just want it to be the same color as the the skirt or the pants skirt okay so it's dark just maybe a darker version of As much as I want to layer some more color into this, I just can't because the paper is not that great. I'm so sorry, Stradmore, but I'm not really that happy about how this paper... Okay, obviously I am using a paper that's not suitable for multiple layering. So my bad. But at least I get to do... My first plug about watercolor. This is my first. Oh my god. I'm just excited and at the same time frightened that you know some of you people might <laughs> criticize me for doing this. Uh, please take note of that. I'm not. I've, I've only been coloring since um, September last year, rather August last year. So I'm pretty new to this. So be kind to me. Please. <laughs> like I said, I'm not an expert. I'm just here to show you how, how I painted this. And um, I'm not sure if you're gonna like this, but I really hope that you do. And somehow get inspired to try watercolor. I, before September, I don't even know how to draw. But you know, so I, I have always believed that if you want to, you can always study. If you're willing to take some time to study. Okay, so that's almost done. Just add some color to the hair and the... Right. Yes, okay. It's just not... Okay, then some shadow right here. It's not so obvious. Here. And then some shadow here. Okay, and then um just to add some dimension to here. Just adding this dark here. Okay. Because I noticed that it's not really okay. Okay, maybe I am overdoing this, but yeah, maybe I am already overdoing this. Not sure if I'm doing this right, but you get the G's right. <laughs> She's a belly dancer. And uh, I'll just add some color to see. 
this, this uh, I feel that it's a little too light. done just add I will just add some background this part okay just balance the color Yeah, so as you can see, uh, my paper is not great for my figure sketch, but um, I think I was able to pull it through. Well, yeah, I think I like what I did here. So we'll just add the shadow of the dancing figure here. Here. So I'm, I'm gonna use the same color that I used for here and I just switch it like this. Yeah. Back, back, back. Here you go. And then just add soften that a bit water. There you go. So uh it's not as great as I I wanted it to be, but I'm glad I was able to finish this figure. Um I will do this again using um, cotton. It's this one right here. It's not cotton. And then I'll just sign my name. Oh, by the way, my name is Grass. Okay, oh, it's bleeding. Okay, wait. Just fix that. Okay, I'll just sign. Hmm. Okay, I'll just sign using my pen. Grass 21 2021 okay 2021 there you go so I hope you enjoyed watching my painting session it's not live it's pre-recorded but uh, there you go I'm done yeah, love it thank you for watching